you look at the HSO fight, do you think it should happen? No. I don't think it should happen because they should be admonished and punished for what they've done, which was uh, dreadful, appalling. They were they're supposed to be figureheads for the sport, they're supposed to be people that are looked up to and admired and they behaved like thugs. That's the first thing. Secondly, uh, I think it is, um, it is an affront to the British Boxing Association, the British Boxing Board of Control, that uh, the Luxembourg Boxing Federation can come in and put on a big show in their territory. That's an affront to them, and that shouldn't be allowed to happen. Um, I, like every other boxing fan, would like to see the fight. I mean, that's because the two, you know, good heavyweights, and they will serve up. There's quite a bit of animosity there, and they will undoubtedly uh, be fireworks. And I would like to see it, and, and, and I'm not afraid to admit that. But I don't think it should be allowed to happen under the conditions that it's happened. And just finally, if there's one fighter fighting today in your prime, who would you like to fight? Oh, um, there are there are many great fighters over the years. If you're talking about a, a, a sort of computerized uh, uh, Back to the Future type thing, I'd love to have fought. Um, not around today. Uh, one of the great fighters of all time in the featherweight division was a guy called Sandy Sadler. Loved to have uh, 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 crossed the ring and boxed him. And, and, all those years ago, he was an outstanding fighter. But there's some great kids around right now, uh, too many to mention. But uh, boxing at the moment is thriving. The British team uh, for the Olympics is is wonderful, and the Irish have got um, seven guys in, in, uh, and uh, an incredible young lady called Katie Taylor, who's extraordinary. She won the world title for the fourth time um, out in uh, China. Um, so it's uh, uh, boxing is thriving.